ऑनरेबल स्पीकर सर सर व्हाट तेलंगाना विटनेस इन द लास्ट वीक ऑफ जुलाई ड्यू टू हैवी रेन्स एंड फ्लडिंग इन पार्ट्स ऑफ द स्टेट इज नथिंग न्यू इट फॉलोड एन ऑपरेसिव एक्सटेंडेड समर विथ सोरिंग टेम्परेचर ड्यूरिंग द मंथ ऑफ मे एंड जून द मानसून रिमेन इल्यूसिव फॉर अ मंथ बट देन द स्टेट सॉ टेंशियल रेन्स फ्रॉम जुलाई ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट टू टो to 27 causing floods in 10 districts and rain related damages in other districts in the states so the honorable chief minister saab has given a detailed account of the consequences of excessive rainfall in the state and relief measures been taken by the government before i go into the specifics i would like to recall the scenario across the globe during the last couple of months china south korea japan india bangladesh and sri lanka in asia spain in europe and united states witness torrential rains and that inundated large tracts and affected millions of people beside causing flash floods landslides and power cuts at the same time so the gulf countries including saudi arabia and uae had scorching summer while turkey has also been seen floods right now the european countries and parts of united states are reeling under the wave and canada is breathing for fresh air as forest fires are polluting the atmosphere also greece and many parts of the europe sir all these are not isolated events but there is a pattern behind what is affecting the climate and weather across the globe the global warming is causing the climate change which in turn is resulting in extreme weather conditions truly the vagaries of nature are visible now this is because all the countries in the world developed or developing ones failed to take steps to contain the global warming over the last few decades so the weather experts say that we are in the midst of the extreme climate mess our oceans are warming up summers are getting hotter and causing wildfire outbreaks global warming are creating a warmer atmosphere which holds more mo moisture which in turn create more deadly downpours to make the matters worse this is an ei nano year which is the hot phase of natural fluctuation in the earth's climate climate system sir india is no stranger to these extreme climate changes that are taking their toll only last month the national capital delhi as well as other northern states of himachal pradesh haryana punjab uttarakhand uttar pradesh beside assam witness extreme water logging due to heavy rains gujarat and maharashtra also saw heavy rains and even even ahmedabad airport ahmedabad airport was flooded madhya pradesh andhra pradesh chatisgarh were affected due to swollen rivers so while flash floods ravaged in many districts in uh, in the godavari basin of of the state the catchment areas in the river krishna receive deficient rainfall hyderabad also saw heavy rains on a few days but impact was not as severe as was the case during the october 2020s rains and floods excess water was released for usman sagar himayat sagar and hussain sagar but timely clearance of nala saved the the day or for large parts of hyderabad sir so however we have we have to be vigilant since the month of september and october usually brings torrential rains under the impact of cyclonic storms brewing from bay of bengal i i i would request the government to to keep a watch on all the water bodies especially the major reservoirs and dams so that we don't face any flooding in heavy rains occur in next few weeks especially in the month of september sir sir i say this the reason is that sir i was going through the irrigation projects water level sir as on second second of august sir sir when we see sir singur dam sangaradi gross storage capacity in tmc it is 29.917 sir but the present storage is 27.51 sir so water inflow in qsic is 4480 water outflow is 32207 sir to the river basin of godavari nizam sagar kama reddy also sir the storage capacity is 71 uh, 17.8 tmc and the present storage is 
water flow is 7925 and outflow is 7925 uh, 7, sir sri ram sagar project also sir when we see the storage capacity is again 90.31 and the present storage capacity in tmc is 84.29 sir and the water inflow is is uh, again 8869 sir q6 and water outflow is 8006 uh, so, sorry 8869 sir sir yellampalli karimnagar also the situation is the same the storage capacity is 20.17 and the present storage is 17.4 and water inflow is 42.3 uh, 42302 q6 sir and the outflow is 39381 sir and if we have to see lower maner also sir the storage capacity is 24.07 and uh, the present storage is almost 23.04 and the inflows are 4303 and, and the outflow is 4303 sir again if we see mid maner dam the gross storage capacity is 25.87 tmc sir and the present storage is 20.43 sir sir now the reason why i am saying this is this is uh, is sir ke aaj ye ek barish mein ये सारे जितने भी मैं नाम लिया हूं ये सारे के सारे तकरीबन तकरीबन बास तो पूरे मुकम्मल भर चुके हैं और फिर अभी हमको दो महीने हैं सितंबर भी है अक्टूबर भी है और बाद वक्त नवंबर में भी बारिश होती है तो दिस इज द रीजन व्हाई आई से दैट कि वी नीड टू बी वेरी केयरफुल एंड वी नीड टू सी दैट कि वॉट अगेन अगर फिर से दोबारा या फिर से इन दो महीनों में कभी बारिश होती है तो हम क्या इकदाम उठाएंगे किस तरीके से करेंगे बिकॉज इफ आई एम रॉन्ग आई आई मे बी करेक्टेड ऑनरेबल स्पीकर सर आई वॉज रीडिंग इन द न्यूज पेपर इन कडम कडम के पास वो गेट्स पूरे बंद हो गए थे और वो गेट्स को मेंटेन नहीं किया गया था एंड थ्रू दिस हाउस आई वुड लाइक टू टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड थैंक एंड अप्रीशिएट द सर्विस ऑफ फोर यंगस्टर्स ऑफ निर्मल हु वेंट देयर and who helped in lifting the gates we need to appreciate such people sir so on behalf of my party mai apni party ke janib se wo sare bacche jo gates jo atak gaye the uske liye apni jaan ki baazi laga kar un gates ko uthaye hum unki bahaduri ki qadr karte hain aur unke is iqdam ki wajah se kai villages aur kai jaanon ko bachaya ja saka hai this is what is needed sir sir at the same time sir honorable speaker sir going further ahead sir i was going to through the note which was tabled and i was i was i had read all the pages sir and at the same time sir i was also reading in the newspaper that the center has appointed an inter ministerial team to assess rain and flood damages in telangana and the team is scheduled uh, to visit and in fact they have been visiting from last two days and as of now if my information is right they are having a meeting with the chief secretary sir now the central team is led by advisor to the national disaster management authority kunal sityarthi comprises official from agricultural jal shakti finance power road transport highways national remote sensing centers uh, center they will make a first hand assessment of the damage and rescue and relief work taken up by the state government honorable speaker sir sir uh, through you my only question to the government is that what are we presenting to this committee sir which has come are we presenting them the same note which has been presented or which has been tabled in this house or we are presenting something else this is a very important issue sir the reason i say that ke in the meeting if chief secretary presents the real list of damages of crops and the acre of land which has been damaged in this floods and also the roads and the irrigation projects and etc and lives of the people lost in this floods and if we demand and aid from the from the central government and then 
if this note is to be compared then i'm sorry to say sir this note has nothing much i'm sorry to say sir sir the reason i'm saying this is that sir i have read in the newspapers that 40 42 people have lost their lives we saw the pictures that the police officials and other revenue officials went in search of the bodies and they they got the bodies and they were they lifted the bodies but sir if we go through this note it is not mentioned is note mein kahin par bhi nahi likha gaya hai ke in floods mein kitni jaane gayi hain how many people have lost life so uh, again and again sir this is not the first time i say that the officials need to take serious about the assembly sessions they cannot come like this sir, the officials are you i sir sir with with lot of anguish i'm saying this sir when the newspapers are saying ke 42 lives have been lost and the note tabled in this house is not mentioning about a single life lost and also sir further i go ahead i was listening to my learned friend congress legislature i was listening to him he he mentioned about 16.0 lakh acres were damaged sir sir now sir when we see this statistics of of impact are glaring of 2067 villages spread around 226 mandal in 10 districts were affected badly paddy and other crops over 16.0 lakh acres were damaged 42% lost their lives and 6 7922 houses were fully and partially damaged 756 minor irrigation tanks breach panchayat raj state road and roads and stretches of national highway were damaged water supply was affected in 64 villages and 1199 habitation power supply were disrupted in 773 villages sir sir now i would like to know sir so when we see the note sir the note is also not mentioning as to what is the crop loss when we sir the newspapers are saying 16.09 lakh acres were damaged the note is not saying anything sir the note is not saying note also needs to say that ke how much of acre of crops has been lost this is very important but the note is not mentioning about that sir and going further ahead sir sir in 141 urban local bodies excluding ghmc in the state the relief and restoration work would require rupees 380 crores in ghmc area and other other hand heavy rains cause damage to the roads and restoration works would require 255.66 crores i may point out that many roads in ghmc area are badly damaged and restoration may require at least four times more funds that is 1000 crores sir 